Hey, what's going on everybody? Adam Castro here. Welcome to Sanctify Studios. I have another song reaction for you today. We're going to be looking at Manifest's brand new single, Nemesis, featuring Sonny Sandoval of P.O.D. Now, we're going to have to take things back all the way to a time where there was this thing called X Christian Rock Hits Music Video DVDs, all right? So we're taking it back to DVDs here, okay? Um, at Christian bookstores, there were these series of CDs and DVDs where you would get a compilation of different Christian artists, and you'd also get a compilation of different music videos from these Christian artists. And way back when, there was a CD, a DVD, with uh, a couple of music videos on it, and Manifest Song Rodeo happened to be on that CD. Um, there also happened to be a music video called Rock Fist from Thousand Foot Crutch, and Thousand Foot Crutch would go on to be my favorite band for years to come. Um, Manifest, though, was on my radar, and later on, I would find out about the song Impossible featuring Trevor McNeven from Thousand Foot Crutch, and at that time, Manifest had already taken a little bit more of a rock lean into their music, and I immediately fell in love with them. And so I think that song was from Manifest's album Glory, uh, that was released in 2006. And so I stuck around for the next album, Citizens uh, Active, that was released in 2008, and also uh, The Chase, which was released in 2010. And that happened to be one of my favorite albums. I was listening through that all the time. Had songs like Avalanche, Renegade, Bring the Ruckus, like really, really good songs on that album. Um, and I really enjoyed the live in concert album that Manifest came out with in the year after. So really, really good stuff. Um, unfortunately, after that time, I kind of went into an emo, screamo, metal phase. And a lot of bands that I was listening to at the time, like Manifest, I ended up not listening to for a while. But Manifest never stopped. Manifest just kept on going. So if you're not familiar with who Manifest is, um, his name is Chris Greenwood, and he's a Canadian Christian rap rock artist. Since that 2011 Live in Concert album, he's released five other full-length albums, which is crazy. He's also released instrumentals of those albums. He's released uh, remixes of a lot of those songs. He's got uh, a bunch of motivational spoken word tracks and videos um, he has a podcast called the I Am A Fighter podcast, and currently he's released eight singles leading up to his brand new album, I Run With Wolves, coming out later this year. And one of those singles is the single we're going to look at today, which is Nemesis, featuring Sonny Sandoval of P.O.D. Now, before we get into that, though, I do want to say I got to meet Manifest just the other day. There was a Whosoever's event over here in California at Calvary Chapel Golden Springs, and it was the Whosoever's Unbelievable Tour documentary uh, showing. So we got to see the 45 minute documentary that they made where it was Ryan Reese and Sonny Sandoval and a couple of other guys going out and just preaching the word, going to skate parks and, and meeting with children and praying over people. It was a really, really cool documentary um, and a really, really cool event. Lacey Sturm played live. So we got to see her and that was awesome. It was the first time I got to meet her and talk with her. So that was great. Um, Austin Carlisle, the original screamer of my Mice and Men was there, um, of, of Mice and Men was there, um, and uh, Sonny Sandoval to P.O.D. was there. He was announcing up there with Ryan Reese. Um, Trevor Tyson of Trevor Talks, the podcast, was there, which was really cool because he was announcing Contagion Fest um, last year. And as I was walking out, as I was uh, getting ready to get in the line to talk with Lacey with my wife, Jaylene, um, I spotted Manifest, and I was like, that's Manifest. What the heck? Like, that's awesome. It was so cool to see him. It was a really, really pleasant surprise. And so I got to talk with him a little bit and pray with him. And that was just really cool. So Manifest, if you're watching this, it was a pleasure to meet you. I'm so glad that I got to shake your hand and pray with you. I'm excited to check out your brand new song. So let's get into it. Here is Nemesis featuring Sonny Sandoval to P.O.D. by Manifest. Nemesis! Nice and heavy already. Falling, snake bite like I'm Adam in the garden. I'm a light, so they're making me a talking. I'm an artist, till I fall asleep, till I Love fall asleep. Drums. Yeah. 
Great chorus, really, really great chorus. Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. The Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9. Love it. Man, I was not ready for how heavy that song was going to be. Manifest, you have outdone yourself. This was such a great song. It's punchy. It's got a great chorus. It's got a great positive message. Um, let's dive into the lyrics right now and let's talk a little bit about it. Um, because I, I think there's a lot of different applications to this song. Um, starting off with saying fallen, uh, snake bite, like I'm Adam in the garden. I'm a light. So they're making me a target. I'm an artist till I fall asleep till I fall asleep. Um, I, I get this like image of like, you're, you're being tempted. You're being a snake bite like I'm out in the garden. You're being tempted to do things that you know you shouldn't do or you know that aren't right. I'm a light, so they're making me a target. Like already because you want to shine, because you want to do um, something good or righteous or something big, like people are making you a target uh, because of that. And uh, I'm an artist until I fall asleep, until I fall asleep. Like, I love that there's that image of like, I need to stay awake if I'm going to make a difference. I need to, I need to not let myself fall back and fall asleep. Forces, brainwash coming at you in the morning, right? Like, I don't know if that's a call to like news when you wake up in the morning and you turn the news on that you're just being brainwashed by whoever you end up watching. Chaos singing like a chorus. I'm crawling in too deep. I'm on my feet. Um, again, just the same thing, like the loudest noise are the people who are screaming for chaos right now. You see it on social media, you see it on the news, you see it with with everything around. You know, we, we've talked about this in other videos where um, wide is the road to destruction, but narrow is um, the path to righteousness. And so obviously that road to destruction is going to be a lot louder than <laughs> the voices that are coming from that narrow path. Uh, so we get that pre-chorus, six minutes to midnight, caught in a fist fight, ready to ignite, like a thorn on the inside, standing at ringside, soul is in flight. Um, I think six minutes to midnight, because I've seen that before, I think that's a call to a uh, to a movie, and I'm not quite sure what the movie's about, um, but uh, it just seems like it's like, hey, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. Um, the video, by the way, video is so good. I love these images of like your, again, like, uh, 
this was in Zana's song as well of just like rain pouring like the atmosphere doesn't look great it looks like you're in downtown you know it looks like you're in the city you're in you're in this dangerous place where things could happen you know um and you may need to protect yourself you may need to fight and there's even clips in the video of of um there being fighters who are in the ring, you know? So this is just like a call to like, be ready. And we go into the chorus, nemesis, arrogance. Don't you know, I'll never quit. Thought you had me, but you never did. I'll defeat my ne nemesis. Nemesis, hypocrite. Don't you know you're full of it? Thought you had me, never did. I'll defeat my nemesis. Um, you know, I don't know about you guys, but nemesis sounds to me, like this could be a couple different things. Like nemesis could be the world. Nemesis could be um, the systems that we're put into, right? Like the government that that's um, in control over us. Uh, nemesis could be ourselves. It could be our sin nature. It could be our flesh. Um, whoever is put on the other side of the ring, if you will, that you have to fight against. And when you come after that person or you come after that thing, you have to come with confidence knowing like, hey, look, like, don't you know, I'm never going to quit. Like, I'm not going to give up this fight. I'm not going to let you overtake me, especially when that nemesis is showing arrogance and hypocrisy. Um, yeah, we, we need to make sure that we don't fall back and that we still stay strong and steadfast in our faith. Um, going into verse two, Soren, take flight like an eagle when the storm hits, rise like a phoenix into orbit. It's a warning. Um, be the end of me, won't bow my knees. I'm warring. I'm warring. I love that word when it comes in. I'm warring. Uh, die for my freedom and never forfeit. Uh, lies keep straying like a bullet. I'm a pull it. It's my legacy till we're living free. Like this is just like being resolved to stand for freedom, being resolved to stand for what we believe in, being resolved to stand for our faith, um, and making sure that we are staying above all of these temptations and above all of these obstacles and above all this resistance that's coming our way. We're not going to bow our knees. We're not going to give up that fight. We're going to continue to war for that, uh, that freedom and for that faith. And um, yeah, it goes back into the chorus. And then we get this bridge, man, this bridge is insane. I love that you guys decided to go heavy with this. And I did um, hear, and I think that's true of this track, that JR from uh, Spoken was doing guitar tracks for this song. And JR is just like, he's the goat uh, when it comes to guitar tracks. But um, but yeah, this this whole song, you can just hear how amazingly heavy and punchy the guitar work is as well. Um, and in this part of just saying, never break me, overtake me. My eyes are wide awake. Never break me, never changing. I am not afraid. Never break me. I'm never changing. My eyes are wide awake. Um, again, it's just that resolve, you know, manifest is known for these like resolved, positive, steadfast kind of lyrics where like, you know, his podcast is, is called I'm a Fighter Podcast for a reason. A lot of his songs have that theme of just continuing to fight, continuing to stay steadfast, continuing to persevere in the face of opposition. And I love that that's shining through in this song um, against our nemesis. And again, whoever your nemesis is, whatever your nemesis is, it could be something outward. It could be something internal, it could be your own flesh. It could be the the sins that you struggle with but that that battle never stops you know we we constantly have to go through that sanctification where we are constantly battling our nemesis and guess what one day we're going to be able to win one day we're going to be able to overcome this world along with jesus christ who has already overcome it for us um so yeah i love i love 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 the message of the song and again like manifest you have outdone yourself here like a lot of these new songs that you've come out with it sounds great punchy it's hard it's heavy it's got deep meaning uh, and i'm really really excited for more songs uh to come as the album is being released and um i want to share just a few verses on top of what manifest shared um concerning that battle that we all face, that battle, again, either with our flesh or our battle against um, people who are in opposition to us or opposition to God, 
um, opposition to what we believe in. Um, so first off, I want to read uh, 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 5. And it says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not wage battle according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but divinely powerful for the destruction of fortresses. We are destroying arguments and all arrogance raised against the knowledge of God. And we are taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ, not to the obedience of our flesh, not to the obedience of the chaos, you know, the chorus and chaos, right? The mob. We're not uh, holding every thought captive to the obedience of even the government or the obedience of um, people who are, who are trying to make us do things against God, um, to the obedience of sin, right? Or to the world. We are taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. We have to constantly make sure that in these battles, we are remaining obedient to Christ. We're in his word. We are constantly meditating on his word because if we're meditating on his word, then we know that when we're battling against things like deception and lies and arrogance and hypocrisy and sin and our flesh, that when we're battling against those things, we need to battle those things with spiritual truth and we need to battle those things with the peace of God. And so I just think that that verse speaks to that really, really well. And there's also this Old Testament verse that I want to read, and I just think this is an encouraging word that if you're going to war with yourself, or if you're going to war with ideologies, or if you're going to war with whatever your nemesis is, I think that this is just a word of encouragement. This is from Deuteronomy chapter 20, verses 1 through 4, and these are the laws concerning warfare, the beginning of the laws concerning warfare, and I just think this is so cool. Um so chapter 20 and verse 1, when you go out to war against your enemies, against your nemesis, right, and see horses and chariots and an army larger than your own, you don't think you're going to overcome, right? The, the odds are stacked against you. You shall not be afraid of them, for the Lord your God is with you, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. So for them, like that was the big thing that God had delivered them from, right? If we're thinking back to things that God has already done for us in our past and led us out of, things that we didn't think that we'd overcome, that we'd never get out of, and yet God has delivered us from that. So think about what God has delivered you from, right? Something that you never thought that you'd overcome, an enemy that you didn't think you'd be able to beat, uh, a sin that you never thought you'd overcome, a situation you never thought you would get through. Like remind yourself of a time when God delivered you through that, right? So when you see an enemy um, larger than your own, you shall not be afraid of them for the Lord your God is with you who has brought you up out of the land of Egypt or brought you up out of what you have been delivered from in your past. And when you draw near to the battle, the priest shall come forward and speak to the people, verse three, and shall say to them, Hear, O Israel, today you are drawing near for battle against your enemies. Let not your heart faint. Do not fear or panic or be in dread of them. For the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you the victory. Like, I just think that th that's insane. That last verse, that for the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies, against your ne nemesis, to give you the victory. And we already know from the New Testament that we have victory in Christ, that Christ Jesus has already overcome sin, that he's already overcome death. But not only that, but we have the Holy Spirit. We have God inside of us. We have God constantly with us. And if he's constantly with us, then you better believe that whenever you go to battle, that he is with you in that battle. As long as we are in God's word and we're allowing ourselves to be filled with the Holy Spirit and not filled with things of the world or not filled with our flesh, but abiding in Christ and taking advantage of these spiritual tools and resources that are provided 
in God's word so that we have knowledge of God, so that we have knowledge of the truth, so that we can take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ, then we can have that victory. We don't even have to, it says right there in in Deuteronomy, we don't have to worry. We don't have to worry if the odds are stacked against us. We don't have to worry if we see that the enemy seems stronger than us. We don't have to be afraid. We know God is with us. And if God is with us, then who can be against us? Christ has already overcome sin and he's already overcome the world. So what do we need to worry about? What do we need to panic and fear? We don't have to panic and fear anything. And so from there, all we need to make sure we do is we keep fighting. We persevere. We never back down. We never give up. We never allow ourselves to fall asleep to the things that God has called us to. We keep our eyes open, ready every single day to do what God has called us to do. And I love that this song just encourages us to do exactly that. No matter what your nemesis is, no matter what you're fighting, this is an encouragement to just stay in that fight, stay awake, and keep fighting. So Manifest, I love it. I'm I'm really looking forward to the new music. Everybody go support Manifest. Go check out his Instagram. Go check out his website. Again, he has got so much content. He's putting out Facebook videos. He's got inspirational uh, spoken word videos and tracks. He's got a bunch of albums out that you need to check out. Remixes that sound amazing. A podcast called the I Am A Fighter podcast. So he's got a lot of content that you should go check out. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to join the Patreon, I actually have some exclusive content on there. You can download my cover of You Never Let Go. Um, it's a rock version, so it's a little bit more towards that Christian rock vibe than the you know CCM Chris Tallman style. So uh, go check that out and give me a follow over on Instagram at Sanctify Studios. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Nemesis, arrogance, don't you know?